I grew up in a really poor town and a really poor family in inner city Boston. And the fact that I get to do what I do today at a firm like KKR, I, there's no way I would have gotten here on my own. And a lot of that is my family. A lot of that is the mentors that I've had, whether it's teachers, colleagues, um, bosses, have all played just a huge role in helping me get to where I am today. I was raised by my grandmother, uh, and she would often tell me there's, there's two ways to do things. You can do it the right way, or you can do it again. Uh, and I think about that a lot when there's times in your work where you can take shortcuts or take the easy way out. And whenever that sort of temptation comes up, I always think of that, and I think of her, and put my head down, and I do it the right way. Education has always been uh, something that I've been really passionate about. It was really the main way that I think about how I advanced from where the situation that I grew up in <clears throat> to where I am today. A uh, big piece of that was, you know, my mom, my grandmother who raised me, uh, always made sure that I had access to great education. And that's something I would want every child, wherever they are in the world, to have access to. That's sort of the great equalizer, the great democratizer um, out there. So technology that helps get um, education systems in the hands of everybody can be a wonderful development for the world. Take classes for the professor, not for the subject matter. That's something that I've carried over into my professional career as well, where I've found people who are mentors to me uh, have offered me opportunities. I didn't know what I was necessarily getting into, but I trusted that person. It's really important, especially early in your career, to deliberately put yourself in uncomfortable situations, places where you're not quite sure if you can do the job or not. And I, I feel like that forces you to develop in a faster way, in a more serious way, than you would if you went to a job where you knew day one you could do 100% of the job fantastically well. That, to me, would lead to stagnation or would lead to my development plateauing. I think you'd get probably kind of bored. And that's something I've looked for you know, over the 20 years that I've been working is every few years trying to put myself into uncomfortable situations because I feel like it's going to lead to this acceleration and development and I think that would be a great piece of advice for somebody starting out their career.